Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection, a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. My name is Audrey Zorik, director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church. We are so happy that you join us today. And I want to welcome each and every one of you to another Kids Connection program. Today, we are presenting Kids Connection program outdoors. I like when Sabbath comes because I get to spend some time with you guys playing, singing, and participating. And I miss you guys so much. I wish you were here. Today's lesson, we are going to learn something that we should all be doing all the time. So stick around, get ready. We're going to be playing together. We're going to be singing together. We're going to be praying together and having a lot of fun together. And without any more delays, welcome to Kids Connection. Let's sing our song of the day together. I remember singing this song, the same song, at church with you guys. How everyone was doing all the motions and we had a lot of fun together. I hope you still had a lot of fun singing at home too. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another beautiful day that we get to worship your name. We ask your presence as we learn more about you and your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you remember when we went to the streets of Los Angeles last year? and we donated blankets and meals to the homeless and people in need? If you didn't get a chance to participate, don't worry, we'll do it again. We were able to help 500 people. Now 500 is a lot of people. 
In today's mission story, we're going to learn about Adra. Adra is an entity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and what they are doing to help the homeless and people in need in other places of the world. This kind of project was actually created by the government because they need to scale up nutrition and there is a need in Mozambique. Right now, the chronic malnutrition rates are really soaring. They are above 40%. And this is, is generally across the country, although there are certain places where it is higher. In Maputo also, they discovered that it's above 30%, which also includes districts like Bowani. So that's why we feel like it's, it's important that the students should get also part of the meal because they might not be getting enough. When we started, we had our school feeding funded by ADRA International. The other part of the donation was through the food that we are still receiving through Rise Against Hunger. Being part of this project, they receive rice. The rice comes in a packet with soy and dehydrated vegetables. And inside each packet, there is a multivitamin packet within the, the food that we, we distribute. So every time they get a uh, ration size which is almost equivalent to a 700 kilocalorie in supplement to what they get from home. When we started the project, we did some anthropometry where we were weighing the height and the weight of the students and we analyzed it. And then we discovered that 50% of the students were really underweight. That was last year. And we are going to consequently uh, weigh the students. Right now we designed a cohort that we would follow up each month so that we have concrete results to see the changes that are okay. What we have noted so far has been an increase in the number of students. It started with 9,366. Right now we have 13,453 students. And last year when we ended we had 11,656 students. Now we can help Audra too and the missionaries by going to our website graceandconditional.com forward slash kids connection and find a link where you can donate and help the ministry of helping other people in other places of the world. And if you wish to donate to the Kids Connection program, you can just choose Kids Connection or you can send a check to the church and make sure you write on the check and envelope Kids Connection. Thank you. Now I want to remind you that tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon we have something special just for you. We are going to play kids games online via Zoom. So far, we played games like Treasure Hunt, Guessing Game. Last week, we played Charades. That was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys can join us too. Tomorrow, 1 p.m., and every Sunday, just go to our website, graceandconditional.com forward slash Kids Connection, and click on the advertisement to register for our program. Now, this is for kids only, okay? Now, I like playing games. I enjoy playing games with you guys at home, at church, everywhere. It's so much fun playing games. And today, we're going to play a game right here with In Kids Connection. I'm going to play here, and you guys are going to play at home. This is going to be fun. Now, I want you guys to get ready. Mom, Dad, you're welcome to join in too. Now, today, we're going to play a game called Simon Says. You know how this game works, right? I say something, Simon Says, and you follow. Deal? Everybody knows this game. I love this game. Now, to make it even better, I'm going to call my daughter, Lanessa, to come and play with us. Lanessa, come on over here. So, here's Lanessa. I'm going to give you guys instructions along for, with Lanessa, and you're going to follow the instructions. Okay? Let's give it a try. Simon says, clap 10 times. Very good. Were you able to do it at home? Cool. Now let's try it another one. Ready? Here it comes. Simon says, wiggle your body. Simon says, quicker. Okay, yes, all right. <laughs> okay, now Simon says, jump on one foot. Really good, are you doing it at home? Simon says, jump on the other foot. 
Simon says, stop. Okay. Now Simon says, clap your hands behind your back. Is it hard? Uh, maybe. Okay, Simon says, stop. Simon says, spin around five times. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're not gonna fall. You're gonna get dizzy. Whoa, you're good. Excellent. Now, here comes a hard one. Simon says, whistle. We have some birds here at home that they have no problem whistling. They're actually, I, I hope you can hear it, but they're whistling right now. They're singing right now. Cool. Next one. Simon says, jump as high as you can. <gasps> She's even jumping outside of the screen. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is fun! Yes! Nice! Okay, make sure you're not gonna fall. Make sure that you have your clear area so you don't you don't fall and you don't you're not gonna hit you're not gonna hit your furniture at home, okay? Okay, here comes the next one. Simon says, tickle someone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> okay, Simon says stop! <laughs> now are you tired? Yes? No? Here we go. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, sit down. Aha! Good job. <laughs> Simon says, tap your hands on your legs like drums. Simon says, stop. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, close your eyes. Simon says, touch your nose. Oh, she almost missed. Did you miss? Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, put your hands up. Just kidding. Simon says, put your hand down. <laughs> now here we go. If you're inside of your apartment or your home, I want you to open the door, open your window, and Simon says, go outside and scream, Jesus loves you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves you! I hope you got to do that too. Did you do it? I hope so. Thank you so much to Lenissa for participating. Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll call her in if we have to play it again. Now, do you want to take the Simon Says game to another level? Yes? Okay. After the video is over, watch the video again and ask your mom, your dad, or any adult that are, that are watching with you to do the Simon Says with you. Let's see if they can do it. Okay? Now, you might be wondering, what the Simon Says has to do with our lesson for the day? Well, in our classroom video today, we're going to learn something that your teacher is going to share that has to do with someone having to follow instructions. What those instructions were and who gave them those instructions. I hope that you find a way to follow the same instructions and do it. Now let's sing our song of the day again as we wrap up the first part of our program and go into our lesson for today.
Jesus, thank you for another Kids Connection program. Thank you for being with us. Thank you because you give us you give us the opportunity to worship your name. We ask now that as we learn more about you and your love and what people in the Bible have done, that we learn how to do it and continue to do it in our lives. Help all the boys and girls that are watching this program, all the adults as well. Keep them safe and help us to very soon be worshiping in Kids Connection in person again. Thank you for answering our prayers and for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope you had fun, and we also like to invite you to come and join us again next week for another Kids Connection. Go to our website during the week, graceandconditions.com forward slash Kids Connection. There you're going to find safe activity for kids. You're gonna find videos, you're gonna find the video, the song of the day. This video you can watch it again and listen to the story throughout the week. And you can also uh, watch the children's worship story of the week that is also today. All this information is on our website and it's specially made for you. You're also gonna find the link for registration for Kid to Kid, which is on Zoom at one o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow and every Sunday. Thank you for sticking around and for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope to see you next week for another great program. Until then, be good boys and girls. I miss you guys. I love you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. See you next week. Well, hello, boys and girls. I sure wish I could see you today, but since I can't, I came over here to church to show you the felts again. Now we've been talking about Jesus when he lived here on this earth. And remember that we talked about Jesus coming as a humble king. He rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and the people waved palm branches. They thought that he was going to be their king, but they did not realize what kind of a king he was going to be. And then after that, we have our crucified king. Jesus was a king, but they crucified him and put him on a cross. It was all a part of God's plan. God sent Jesus down to earth as a baby to show us how to live. And then he died on the cross for our sins. After that, we have the risen king. God was buried in a tomb and on the third day, he rose up and he was alive again. All of the people were so astonished. Whoa, Jesus is alive again. The people were so surprised that Jesus was alive again. They gathered around him, all of his disciples accepted that he was alive again. At first they did not believe it. Then, do you think Jesus went right back to heaven after that? No. He stayed with his friends, the disciples, for 40 more days. During that time, he told them what he wanted to them to do. And that's why we call him the commanding king. He gave us a job to do. He told his disciples that he wanted them to go throughout the whole world and tell people about him. Now that's a pretty big job, isn't it? Because the world is big. 
But you know what? He said that he would not leave them all by themselves. He would send his spirit to help them to tell the whole world about Jesus, how he lived on earth, how he was tempted just like we are, and how he showed us his love by healing the sick, by raising the dead, by comforting people, and that he died for our sins and he rose again on the third day. Well, God gave us a job to do, but he said he would not leave us alone to do it. He would send his spirit to help us to do it. And he sends his spirit now too, not just when the disciples were on the earth. He sends the spirit now to help us out. Now, I wanna ask you a question. If you knew that the store was giving away free soccer balls or free Nintendo or PlayStation games, wouldn't you tell your friends about it? Yes, you would. If you knew that they were giving away ice cream, if you wore a certain color of shirt to school, wouldn't you tell your friends to wear that color that day? Yes. And since Jesus has asked us to tell our friends about him, what wonderful news that is. And don't you want to share that with all your friends? Well, I hope that you do. I want to sing you a song and let's see if we can sing it. Are you ready? It's called This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, Jesus loves us so much and he takes care of us and God has said that when Jesus returns every knee will bow and everyone will see him and that's our memory verse so let's practice that okay God said at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and everyone shall proclaim that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. And that comes from Philippians chapter two, verses 10 and 11. Now let's see if we can practice that again. God has said, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and everyone shall proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2 verses 10 and 11. Practice that one more time with me. God said at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and everyone shall proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2 verses 10 and 11. Well, Jesus has given us a job to do and without Jesus, people cannot be forgiven of their sins or go to heaven. God has said that Jesus is the only way. We want to be his representative here on earth and tell everyone about Jesus. Let's say a little prayer and talk about that. Close your eyes with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your son, Jesus. Help us to tell others that we meet about him. Amen. Now here's your craft for today. And it is a little booklet. The first page says, Jesus died on the cross. He was placed in a guarded tomb. That means there were soldiers there. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus is alive. Now, parents, this is what it looks like when you first start. You'll be able to get this on the website. 
you will need this page, some crayons, and a pair of scissors. You can use a paper clip or a staple or a piece of string to tie it all together. Thank you so much for joining me. Goodbye.